Friends, good afternoon. It's Curtis Robinson, and I am operating the deadliest of all assassins, Black Blade. And Black Blade is a bandit class uh, assassin. Now, I'm here today to do a little uh, demonstrating. Okay, so we're not going to have the blade, uh, the blades up, so to speak. I'm going to try this stinking whip that crushed me when I was fighting Harlow. It does a little blood loss, but I've upgraded it. And we're going to try and play with it a little bit. Let's see what it does just on the, the initial strike here. We're going to do a one. All right, 300-ish. 260, not bad. Hit him with the special ability. Lightning bolt didn't do a whole lot. Let's fix this guy's little red wagon. 295. All right, let's see. Special ability. 474. Thunderbolt. 474. Can't be dodged. I kind of like that. All right, let's try the R2 button. 405. 405. All right, let's get off of him. Let's hit this guy. Let's hit him again. Hmm, two hits to kill that guy. Not bad. All right, let's try this. Pretty cool, right? All right. Little flame blank cram the strength if I can get over 405. No extra damage. Right. The reach is what's pretty cool about this weapon, and you know, it is what it is as far as damage. Got three with one hit. That was sweet with the R2 button. It's pretty fast for an R2, by the way. The R2 button is kind of the. I wonder if I can hold. Yeah, I can do a charged attack. Hold it. Like that. This is not exactly an assassin's weapon. I feel like Zorro, though. You know, if you guys remember the movie Zorro. Right. All right, we're going to change. I also have this flame whip that I got. I'm going to hit old boy here with uh, the number one. A little bit less damage. Charge it up. 489 is not bad. Let's do the special. It's kind of a little a, 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 AOE hold kind of a spell. Interesting. Sucks up the mana, but if you're surrounded, it looks like it's pretty good. Hmm. Let's see it again. Let's do something a little different here. We're going to. Uh, see if it's how interruptible it is. Probably based on my poise damage, by the way, and my poise resistance. Kind of like the candlestick uh, whip, to be honest with you. Kind of cool. Um, I didn't try it out like the other one on the lesser on the minions. I can't. There we go again. So we're trying out these two whips here. Let's see what we get. Let's just kill this guy with this one. Oh, that could be interrupted. Ah, makes it kind of tough. Let's try it right here. I just killed that guy accidentally. He walked in on me. I killed him, but I wrecked his horse at least. Right, let's see what happens here. Number two. That did not work well at all. Seems to have gotten wrecked. That works. It is reasonably fast for an R2. Let's play with it. Let's see here. Quack. Two guys. Quack. All right, now let's try this. Like that. Let's try this. It does have this cool attack. I wonder if it's got an 
another, I, I do the L2, I hit, and then I do the R2. I think the range might be a little bit shorter on this one. Let's go back to this one. Oops. Swipe with that one. Swipe with this one. I don't know. Uh, R2 reaches out and touches people. It's better than a sword as far as everything's considered. Right, I do have one more. Ha I thought I killed some. I killed the, one of those trolls, but apparently I didn't. I'm playing around with the minions here. Let's see here. Let's smack him hard. 489 is about the damage I'm doing here. Alright. We have one last, last test. We're going to put one on each side. I'm going to try this uh, special attack. Oops. Let's get the weapons up. That's what I meant to do. Let's see what the L1 does here. 1, 2. 562. I don't think I can sustain it. It is relatively fast. Kind of crazy. Definitely like the special ability of the uh, the uh, I've got an Asher Bore on Harlow's whip. Um, I don't have an Asher Bore. The candlestick one comes with what it comes with. You can't change it. Pretty interesting. Um, let's look at them. This one I've got up to plus 15 with the regular smithing stones. This one is up to plus five with the somber smithing stones. And you know, that's all I had. I can go find some more, but. Pretty cool, uh, not bad weapons ultimately. If uh, you kind of look at speed, you know, if I go one, two, one, two, one, two. Pretty fast, not as fast as daggers. Definitely get the range with the, uh, the whips though. Probably a Pretty good assassin's weapon, I would say, or a bandit weapon at least. It's uh, these I think are driven by strength and dexterity. This one is a uh, well, probably dexterity heavy for that one. And this one is strength, dex, and faith, faith based. Probably do more weapon, more damage if you're a um, some sort of faith based guy. Totally interesting, guys. How about in your comments? Let me know which one of these two whips you really like. Um, you like the candlestick whip or do you like Harlow's whip? Remember that Harlow's whip also does some bleed damage, which we didn't see hemorrhage proc. Uh, probably will if I uh, play with it long enough. Uh, leave your comments if you like these. Leave your comments if you played with these and just kind of let me know. I kind of am thinking um, if you're fighting a bunch of little small scrubs, the, f the candlestick one is pretty good. You can do the special ability. But I definitely like uh, being able to use the use Harlow's whip. This thunderbolt is pretty cool. So I could put other ashes of war on it. it makes it a little bit more. Uh, it's, I've got a little more flexibility in what it does. So of course I could always go back and put a different ash of war on it, get a different effect. Maybe flame of the red mains, which is one of my favorites. Um, and if I really wanted to proc, let's take one more quick. I'm about to get off, but let's go ahead and. Uh, See, if we go to Ashes of War and we decide that we're going to put something else on that, what do we have a choice of? Ground Slam, not too bad. Um, uh, Raptors of the Mist, blah. Uh, let's see, Thun um, Beast Roar, Stormstorm Termination, Royal Knights Resolve. Yeah, it's going to be one of these two probably. Lightning Ram. I think I run in I run somebody over with that. By the way, I'm sticking with lightning instead of doing like sacred or something else because 
Um, it, lightning really scales well with dexterity. So if you got a lightning ability, I just want to check this one ability out real quick. Let's see what we got here. What? That's the ability. I sound like a lamb. Listen. That's that just sucks. That was funny that watching him stomp on his own dude. This is the worst special ability of all time, guys. Look at watch this. I lock on. I just knock him over. Doesn't have particularly good application in any stinking way. I won't be using that. That one sucks. But that's just the Ash of War. I'm going to go back and take it off. I do like uh, the other Thunderbolt one. That one's pretty good. Yeah. This one might be okay, Sacred Order, but this is going to be the one I would use for it. So the vote is A. Harlow's Whip with Thunderbolt, or B, Candlestick Whip with Magma. Uh, which one do you like, and why, and then let me know, because uh, they're kind of both pretty cool. Not bad for a bandit class, not necessarily an assassin's weapon, although I didn't try to backstab. I wonder what the backstab would look like. Man. What do you guys think? Should we go try a backstab, just for the fun of it? Can you backstab with a whip? I know you guys, since I brought it up, you're going to ask me later, especially my good buddy Daria. She's going to say, hey, you said something about backstabbing. you backstab with a whip? I want to see, I want to see that. Uh, let's go to being backstab a soldier here with a whip. Walk on, sneak behind, get close. All right. So the problem is I may have, I don't think it was a backstab. He didn't get the animation. But I can definitely get behind him and kill him. Backstab with this one, they're probably gonna look the same. Not a backstab. Alright, but pretty funny though, right? It's two hits to kill that guy. Eh, a little disappointed in that. The R1 is just not very powerful. Anyways, it is what it is, guys. Let's stick with daggers for the most part. If you're gonna backstab, that's a real assassin's weapon. Do me a favor and share, and of course subscribe. Make sure you get my notification by clicking the bell, and I'll catch you guys soon.